Hello everyone, here today to talk about Grave Defense HD. This is a game I picked up in the Groupies Marmalade Bundle. If you don't know what Groupies is, I suggest you go take a look at their website. They sell a lot of games for very, very cheap and unique bundles, so go check them out. This is Grave Defense HD. Originally this was an iPad game, and um, let's just get to it. It's got three campaign settings, gold, bonus, and silver. Let's just give silver a try. This is a desktop tower defense game, which I have to confess, I do love those. Got a little cute little FMV going there. No sound to it. I don't really care. It's a desktop tower game. I just want to shoot stuff. So, these are all the different locations that you can place your tower. Let's go ahead and pause the game so they don't start coming out. This red line will tell you where the zombies are going to be coming from. For desktop tower games, this is all pretty standard. So let's start here. I want the minigun. Let's pause this, because there's already one coming out. Uh, let's take a look here. Minigun, Vulcan gun. Don't really see a whole lot of difference. There's uh, one power difference, but uh, the minigun is much faster and... Uh, yeah, has even more range, so we'll go with another minigun, why not? Down to $100, here comes the zombie bug, okay. And unlike a lot of desktop tower defense games, this one doesn't throw a lot of little enemies at you at first. You don't have five or six of these things running by, you've just got one at a time. And you can see, they're already starting to make it halfway past my second one. So at this point, do I want to upgrade this one, or do I want to build another? Upgrading is pretty cheap, but just for fun, let's throw in a gun that I cannot afford. Well, forget that then. Let's just upgrade both of them. And go. Almost got away. I can see a little bit of difference, and that did get away. I do not have enough money to build another tower yet, so he is just going to have to get by there. I actually hate that in desktop tower games. I generally do not let anything get by before I reset the level, but um, that would not be very exciting to watch me do this again. So let's upgrade this tower and upgrade that tower again. Notice that upgrading it does not increase the costs. Probably not the best timing for that, but uh, they're upgraded anyway. Oh, we've got our first zombie out there. Looks like he takes a little more of a beating than the kill bugs. And we have now got enough money for a Vulcan gun. There you go. And you do get money that occasionally drops on this. A little bit of a break between the waves. I spent maybe an hour playing this game in total, and I've got to the second level. As far as desktop power games go, it's not that bad. The graphics are okay. There's quite a few guns to pick from, or at least um, when the tutorial there is. I haven't actually seen that many guns in level 2. I'm still stuck with three choices. But my biggest problem with this game is the waves are way too long. You can see I'm only on wave 4 out of 15, and uh, you know, sometimes you just don't want to play 10 minutes of a desktop power game. You just want to throw it down, beat a level or two, and then back out. But with this one, you know, if I was to record this whole 15 waves, this would be probably a 10 minute video. So there you go. This game costs about a dollar. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. If you're desperate for a uh, desktop power game to play, you know, this is an option. Not in my top 10, but um, overall, pretty average. Thanks, everybody.